In 1984, the toy action figure market was seeing a change. The leading action figure line Star Wars has been a juggernaut since its release in 1978. But a year after the release of the final film, Return of the Jedi, the Star Wars brand was showing signs of decline in sales. Mattel's He-Man toy line was taking a huge bite out of Star Wars toys, but there were some other toy lines taking over the toy aisle. One of the newest to take on the figure market was a line of figures unlike anything before it. The 1983 Tonka release GoBots, an action figure line that mixed the fun of action figures into the fun of playing with cars and the fun of playing with a puzzle. The line was a huge hit and other toy companies quickly tried to cash in on the new style of toys. The following year Hasbro brought the Japanese Transformers to the US and gave kids not just transforming vehicles but airplanes, guns and more. With the huge sales of GoBots and Transformers, smaller toy companies quickly released cheap transforming toys to catch some quick sales. When it came to buying toys in the 80s, most kids had at least two places to buy them. One was the Walmart of the 80s, Kmart. Almost every town in the U.S. had at least one Kmart. The second department store that had a huge hold on the eastern half of the retail department store space in the U.S. was Zares. Zares was founded in 1956 and the company grew into one of the most profitable department stores in the U.S. On the way to success, Zares would buy up other companies like TJ Maxx and BJ's Wholesale Club. However, by the 80s, with the demand of Kmart and the growing power of Walmart, Zares was seeing a sharp decline in sales. As the stores across the U.S. was fighting to stay in business, its sub-company, TJ Maxx, was racking in profits. So the Zares Corporation refocused their business and sold all 400 Zares stores to Ames department stores. As the transforming toys were starting to take over toy stores, Zares came up with their own transforming action figure line to bring in a few hot sales with their exclusive Transmobots. According to the package, they were a computer-generated, battle-ready robot strike force created centuries ago by highly intelligent aliens to combat evil forces throughout the universe. Each Transmobot warrior had been disguised in vehicle form as they went on seek and destroy missions. The package hints that these were vehicles, but there were more than just vehicles in the line. Dr. Locke was, as you can guess by the name, a lock that would transform into a robot. There was Tumblr, the transforming chain lock. You had Meat Hook, the forklift transforming robot. Skis, the transforming airplane. Sharko, the transforming submarine. Gas Cam was the transforming army jeep. The following figures were shown on the back of the package, but I could find no photos of them online, so it's possible they never got released in the market, or just very rare. They were Lotus Eater, the transforming dragster. Chopper, the transforming motorcycle, and the robot-turned-cement truck was Cement Head. The line was only sold at Zares, but it was probably just sold to them from a small independent manufacturer in Taiwan that wanted to unload some knockoff GoBots, and Zares were more happy to have their exclusive, puzzling Transformer action figure line. Today, as you can guess, they're pretty hard to find, for the few people that are looking for them, or even know about the time Zare's department stores had their own line of exclusive transforming action figures. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.